Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Feminine Light Tarot. Hey guys, if you are new here, I hope you choose to subscribe, join the FLT family, join the crew so that you don't miss out on any other videos. Hit that subby button. Um, if you're returning, you guys know that I love you. I love you so, so much. Thank you for being here. Um, and I am just so thankful and grateful that you enjoy um, the space and that you receive messages from me. And if I've helped you in any kind of way, um, I am very, very filled with gratitude that I'm able to do that for y'all. Okay. Um, I just did like a little prayer before starting this video and I've actually already shuffled some cards. I find that I'm starting to see that as, if I do that and I kind of like shuffle the cards off camera, I just feel like it's a little bit more deep it's a little bit more authentic i don't know um because my prayer and things like that the way that i you know tap in is kind of like sacred to me i guess um i need to start doing that more where i kind of get my mind right before i press record so that we know you know i know the angle and the message that needs to be delivered okay um before I start, though, I, I do want to make an announcement that I am open for personal readings again, and I have decided to keep those on the Etsy shop. So all of my digital download things, which would be my readings and my courses, I do have a teaching tarot course that is available right now on my Etsy shop. These are digital downloads. All of that I'm going to keep on the Etsy. But all my other things like my decks and my spiritual, my mystical merchandise my divination items that I create will all be on the Shopify. All of that is going to be linked down below, you guys. So do check me out. I know I've had several people inquire on my personal readings. They are now open again, y'all. So do take advantage of that. I did go on a little energy break, but I am in the mood again. <laughs> so do be sure to check me out. All right, let's get into it, you guys. So right off the bat... You guys are in a defensive energy right now. You guys could be Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. You are in an energy where you feel like the rug I'm hearing has been uh, pulled out from up underneath you. All right. You, you, you guys could also feel like this is a test of some sort. You're going through something where you feel like this is a test of your faith, a test of your strength. A test of something to see if you really want something as much as you think you want it or something like that um you've been put through the ringer it's required a lot of persistence and courage and energy for you to be where you're at right now um you're a really resilient person and you feel like whatever this is that y'all have gone through that since you've gone through this, that there's not a whole lot of other shit that you can't get through is what I'm feeling. Okay. I feel like whatever this is, whether it's been a spiritual thing, a financial thing, a love thing, a family thing, whatever the hell this is, you feel like you're barely standing, but you're standing though. It's almost like you're proud of yourself. For this moment but at the same time the after effects of what it has done to you is what you're trying to recover from so i am feeling a lot of self-doubt coming off this card i asked why is the knight of wands here and the knight of swords reverse came out with the king of cups reverse so for a lot of you guys you have burnt yourself out with a particular individual who was very emotionally manipulative to you very manipulative, very volatile for some of you, an obsessive person, um, an unreliable person, a moody person, an up and down energy, a love bomber, a narc. Okay, don't we love them? Um, somebody that was had you in a constant state of confusion when it came to them. Things were always up in the air. You didn't feel like you had a place in this person's life. You feel, though, like you missed out on an opportunity with them at the same time. So some of you guys are really going through a lot right now. It's heavy. This, Whatever this is, it's a very, very heavy and overwhelming. Because there's a part of you that feels like you're accepting this, you're moving on, you're trying to accept lessons from this, but there's also a part of you that feels like 
you know, that sadness there that this didn't work out for you, whatever this was, okay? For most of you guys, I am talking about a love thing, a love situation. I do primarily love readings, but you guys can make this fit. If it fits for you and you know what your situation is and it's, and it's ringing true, take it, okay? Because I know we're not always all of us going through a love situation, you know? Um, it could, there's a lot of shit we go through in life, all right? It doesn't always have to be love, but whatever this is, although it brought you a lot of confusion and a lot of up and down energy, and a, it, it, it made your mind really scattered and disorganized and you just went through it with whatever this was. Even though it did that, there's a sense of longing for it. There's a sense of, you feel like, I, I hear, I'm hearing mourning. You're mourning the loss of whatever this was or whoever this was, even though it wasn't good for you. So it's almost like, if we're talking about love here, which I feel like it, it is more so, but I'm trying to be like neutral for the people that aren't in a love thing. Um, it's almost like I'm feeling, but I loved him, even though he didn't love me and it wasn't genuine, but I loved him. So where does that leave me? How, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, I, I still love this person, even though they didn't love me, even though they didn't love me properly, even though they put me in this, this mind fuck or whatever, for lack of better term. Sorry if you guys don't like cussing, but that's what we do here on the channel at times. <laughs> um, it's like, even though this person put me through this whirlwind of abuse and confusion, the love and everything was genuine for me. So what do I do with that? You know, like, so it's a state of you guys being kind of stuck. I'm getting a visualization of you just like on a rock in the middle of the ocean. I don't know why I'm, I'm picking up on that. It's like you guys are sitting on a rock in the middle of the ocean. You feel stuck. You don't see any land in sight. You could feel like you're drowning. You could feel like, what do I do now? I've invested so much time into this person or so much time into this. And what do I do now? I don't feel like this was an easy road for you, but I definitely feel like this was something that was meant to teach you a lot of spiritual lessons. I asked who this King of Cups was and the Five of Pentacles came out reversed, the King of Wands, the Three of Wands reversed and the Justice card crowning all of it. Bottom of the deck, we got the Four of Pentacles reversed. So... You definitely found out the truth about something or someone at the end of the day. Balance was finally restored. You got some type of honor or integrity left out of the situation. So it's almost like if we're talking about a love thing, if you guys always accuse someone of something or always not even so much accused, but if you always knew someone was not being honest with you or telling you the truth, at the end of the day, you at least got the truth finally and could walk away with the integrity and the pride of knowing that you were right about that person. So although a lot of you guys feel broken and like you have nothing to show for all of the love, the energy, the time, everything you put into this person, you, you can at least walk away with that pride and that integrity left that you know you stayed solid and true and this person was everything but. And they were everything you said they were, okay? So if you're watching this right now, I feel like somebody needed to know that. That you at least get to walk away knowing that you were, I'm not going to say like the righteous one or whatever, but you were the pure soul. You were, you did the right thing. And, no, and this person could never tell you otherwise. This person could never say you were the bad person or that you did them wrong. They have to live with the fact that they did you wrong and that their truth has been exposed and that you can walk away knowing that you, you finally know who this person is, okay? I'm getting a lot of fire energy off of this person. So they got fire in their chart. If we're talking about a love situation, they could also have Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in their chart. This is something that for some of you could have drained your pockets. So not only did it drain you emotionally, it could have drained you financially as well. 
you're recovering or having to recover from this person. For some of you guys, this person affected your health. Not only your mental health, but your physical health. Some of you, emotional eating, you're, you could have had heart problems, you could have developed depression and anxiety, who knows, a slew of things. It is a proven fact that a toxic relationships, stressful situations, stressful people, those kinds of things that you occur that can happen in our lives affects our physical health as well as our mental health. Okay, so a lot of you guys are not only you're recovering from the physical aspect, the heartbreak and the emotional aspect, you know, you some of you guys have to, you know, recover physically and are on medications and things like that due to this person. Some of you guys could have drained your life savings or your bank account or whatever to keep this person happy or whatever situation you guys were put in, you had to, you you now, you know, you're, you're, fe you're facing financial issue and loss from whatever this this happened some of you guys the the loss is not finance is not only financial but it's spiritual as well some of you guys this person drained you so much that it brought you away from your spirituality it brought you away from your religion it brought you away from your family it brought you away from your career your job you devoted everything to this person they drained you without you realizing it okay so this is why you're in a state of the nine of wands where you feel like you're the last man standing or everything is in shambles around you and you are standing trying to recover and pick up whatever ha whatever is left. It's kind of like you've taken everything from me. What do I have left? Okay, it's a really heavy energy. It's very sad. It, it really is. It's hitting me. It's starting to hit me. And I don't want to cry on another read, y'all. Um, this person, pre they present themselves to me as somebody who you were very impressed by in the beginning. They have a very, they're very, they give off narky vibes, not going to lie. Um, but at the end of the day, there was nothing but delay and obstacle and uh, obstacle after obstacle, delay after delay when it came to this person. They're really somebody who tried to portray themselves as a king of wands when really they don't have a plan for their life. They almost, it's giving chameleon or like sociopath or something, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's almost like they knew, they found out what it was that you wanted, what you find, what you found appealing. And then they played on that and they tried to present themselves as that, but they're not that. Okay. This created a lot of regret and confusion and self-doubt within you because it's got you questioning your judgment. It's got you questioning, well, was this, has this person, was this all, was this person always this way? And I just didn't see it in the beginning. And I like made all this up in my head. And so it's got you guys doing a lot of blaming of yourself when really most of you guys were gaslit. Okay. Most of you guys were love bombed and this person presented, they, they wrapped themselves up in a, in a shiny bow, put a shiny bow on the top of their head and made themselves look like they were the perfect man or the perfect woman or whatever for you. And so you were sold a dream. Okay, this is why now you guys don't trust anything. <laughs> um, this was a test of your faith. This was a test of your intuition. This was a test of your boundaries. And if you really, I want to say, if you really love and respect yourself the way that you should, okay? This was definitely some type of karmic partner that for some reason... The universe felt like you needed. This was a hard lesson. This was a hard lesson for a lot of y'all. We have, you know, with the four of pentacles being in reverse on the bottom of the deck, though, that's a good thing. Okay, this is you accepting this, giving up the control of this. So some of you guys, you formed some type of trauma bond, possibly, or felt like you could save this person, help this person, or felt like they could save you or help you. And 
you're giving that up now. You're realizing that the connection was not what you thought it was. Um, and so I see you giving that up. I see you in self-protection mode. And I see you releasing the past, this past person, and, you know, just overall acceptance of this, okay? But the thing about, the, the thing about this is that it's creating a sad energy in you guys. It's creating kind of a withdrawn, moody, insecure energy, a codependent energy. I mean, that's what a lot of you guys struggle with is the codependency. And... Some of you guys are just really shutting down is what I'm getting due to this person um, and the utter, I want to say, disappointment and devastation that you feel about the situation not working out. You don't feel like you can trust yourself because of this person. That's what I'm saying. What's going on in this person's energy? What's going on in this person's energy? Mm -hmm. They're licking their wounds, I want to say. This person's also letting go, walking away, trying to accept because they know that whatever they did... It's too, it's too rough to come back from. They know they'll never get another chance with you. But you've exposed their toxicity 100%. You've exposed this person. It's kind of like, well, damn, they see me for who I am now. I can't, I can't come back from this. Okay. They're avoiding you because they don't want to be rejected. This person's being faced with that raw inner truth about themselves that they cannot run from anymore. You were their karma collective. That should be the title of this video. You were their karma for sure. But you know what I want to say? I want to say they were almost yours too. It's almost like you were their karma, but they were your spiritual lesson. That should be. I should. I should write that shit down. I'd be. I'd be forgetting the title names, and then it takes me forever to remember what the title name's gonna be and shit. But real talk, you were their karma. They were your spiritual lesson. Cause some of you guys, it, you have repeated this pattern with maybe possibly like everyone you encounter, everyone you fall in love with, where you give way more than you should, and you give people way more uh, chances than you should. You see the good in people when, you know, that's a beautiful trait to have as an empath or a codependent person, but it's also what bites you in the ass every time. And I feel like this person really bit you. It, what I see is like this person, first of all, for some of you guys, they're overcoming their addictions. They are learning how to detach from the toxicities the things that doesn't serve them anymore um they're they're trying to be more independent they're trying to reclaim their power they're trying to it's almost like i'm feeling like a personal transformation or something coming from whoever this is and you know it sucks that this person didn't want to do this before they met you it's like they want to do it now. And this is what we always fear. We fear that we, our energy, especially as a healer or empath, if I'm talking to you and you're a healer or an empath, this is what we kind of fear happening is that our energy comes in and it's so powerful, it's so healing, it's so transformative that the person ends up being a better person for the next one, right? Right? And that's kind of what I feel. Do I believe it? Not necessarily, but this is what they're trying to do right now. They're actually trying to be better. 
they're trying to, if they were addicted to drugs or alcohol, they're trying to get help for that for some of you guys, or they're trying to lessen the amount of drugs or alcohol that they use. Um, they could be really aggressively cutting people off at this time. So if there were people in their life that they weren't able to cut off before, they are cutting people off now. They're um, in a much more independent energy where they're by themselves more. So if this is somebody who really had to be around people all the time and they fed off of other people, I do see that this person is changing that. I'm actually a little surprised that these cards are coming out. Um, this person wants your forgiveness. We've talked about that. Uh, I've been talking about that kind of energy coming out in a lot of my readings lately where somebody wants your forgiveness. Um, it's almost like if they knew you forgave them, they could kind of accept this and they could move on. Some of you guys don't want to give them forgiveness because you're not there yet or you just don't feel like they deserve your forgiveness, which is 100% okay. Like, you know, if they, everybody's different. Some people feel like you got to forgive a person and move on. Other people know that you really don't have to. It's a very personal thing. Your healing is a very personal thing and everybody's going to heal differently. Um, this person's trying to find some type of peace in their life. I do feel like it bothers them a lot what they did to you. So it's almost like... They feel like they owe it to you to get better and be better. Um, that's what I'm hearing. If that makes sense for somebody, like the video. They feel like them getting better, overcoming their addictions, being a better person is like an uh, in honor of you. Like, I don't want to ever hurt anybody the way that I hurt the collective again. So let me try to be a better person. And that's the way they're finding peace because most of you guys are not speaking to them. You're not giving them any kind of peace from that. You're not giving them any kind of closure. So in a way, they're like, okay, to get closure for me to feel better about what I did to the collective, let me turn over a new leaf and be a better person. Do I believe it? not so much they really are kind of like closing themselves off from people is what i'm seeing if this was a really social person that could be like a, a way like that could be um a shocking thing they feel very stuck right now they feel very like they have been put in a position where they have to sit still and they're stuck. Spirit is doing this on purpose. This is their karma. You were their karma, collective. They're being forced to cut off situations that um, they had going on or people could be leaving them. People could be dropping out of their life. And this is a way that they have to focus on themselves. You've pushed them right into some type of shadow work. Okay. They have to focus a lot on why they do what they do to people. Okay. Why they chose somebody like you. Why they chose to be with somebody and purposely lead them astray. That's why they're getting karma. Because they knew what the plan was when they got with you. Remember how I said they were like a chameleon or something? Like they read you, they knew what you wanted and needed and what you deserved. And they tried to act like they were that, but they knew they weren't. They purposely led you astray. So this is why they're getting this huge amount of karma at this time. They doubt their own intuition. They doubt them themselves. They have all these repressed feelings and broken dreams and everything that didn't happen for them. So they wanted to come through and make and crush yours, crush your dreams, crush your bank account, crush your, you know, knock you off your path, you know, get you to doubt yourself the way that they doubt themselves. It's kind of that energy. They are really feeling this loss of you. So although I feel like it doesn't feel like that, I feel like they really are keeping their cool. They're not reaching out They are, are you know, for some of you guys might look as though they're moving on just fine. This person is in, I'm here in spiritual purgatory. Okay. 
there's still a resistance though there's still some type of resistance i feel within this person of not wanting to do this but at the same time knowing that doing it is in the honor of you This is somebody who was is perfectly okay with just kind of skating by in life. They don't they don't have any real goals or any real motivation to do anything. They're just a very un I don't want to say unskilled person, that's mean, but they haven't found their niche. Like they haven't found that thing in life that they really are passionate about. They're not passionate about much of anything. So the only things that they're passionate about is things that aren't good for them. Risk taking behavior, drugs, alcohol. For some of you guys, sex, being a player, um, seeing if whatever what all they can do without getting caught. That's what gives that's what this person's passionate about. You guys could be dealing with a rebel or somebody who has an illegal past of some sort, and everything is kind of coming back to this person. It's coming back to haunt them. Remember the justice card did come out. So you have found out the truth about this person. As much as you don't want to hear this, probably, Collective, this you coming into this person's life has impacted this person into them realizing how much they need healing. They're definitely feeling the loss of you. They're definitely feeling the failure of this connection. Everything that could have been that was not. They feel it. So don't feel like they don't because they do. But what, whatever, it's almost like this person's like, I can't sit around and just feel sorry or beg the collective to come back to me because I know it's a done deal. Like I know the collective's not coming back to me. So rather than, you know, have to deal with that rejection. Because if I come back to the collective, the collective is going to expect that I'm a changed person. I'm going to have to really change all these things. I'm going to have to deal with all these things because if trust was broken or something like that, I'm going to have to do all of these things and it's just too overwhelming for me to think about. So I'll change. I'm going to change, but I'm going to do it on my time. That's what I'm getting. This person gets in their head a lot. They they talk really negatively to themselves where they talk themselves out of progress. They talk themselves out of getting things done because they, they have a negative mindset. They also have a very toxic mindset. So if they're not getting instant gratification from something, they will quit it. They'll stop it. Um, they need to stop hanging out with people that think like them okay and i see them starting to do that but this is not going to be an easy process for this person they are an addict for a lot of you guys and addiction's a long drawn out process um i do feel like i'm channeling that for somebody okay let me get some written messages for this person written messages I've been thinking so much about what you mean to me. They really have. They're ruminating a lot on this connection. And I feel like in honor of you, if that makes sense, I keep saying that. I feel like they literally said in honor of the collective, like in honor of, of them, I have to start getting my shit together. Like that way, everything that I put the collective through, I can, you know, it's... <laughs> it's, their, it's their weird, toxic way of thinking. Keep that in mind, okay? I was going to say that way, whatever I put the collective through, what, it was for something. Because at the end of the day, it, it helped me change. It helped me stop being like this. So it's very self-centered and self-focused. It's not even so much that they feel bad about what they did to you as it is. They feel guilt and shame associated with what they did, if that makes sense. It's more about them. If I'm being honest, y'all, I've been hiding my crazy side. 
some of y'all are like, but it got found out though, okay? A damaged mindset, exactly. Their damaged mindset, the way that they talk to themselves, the way that people around them talk to them, the life that they grew up with has damaged this person. I don't want to say permanently because we all have the ability to change, but this person is kind of stuck in that rut where they don't know how to change or where to go to change. Um, they need to first change their um, environment. And I do see this person starting to cut people out. I do. Okay, I can't stay out of trouble. What, could I, what did I say? They have a rebel, reckless kind of mentality and mindset. And that's that's what, remember I said they don't have any real goals in life or passions. But the passions that they do have are negative things. Things that will get them, give them a rush. Reckless behavior, seeing what all they can get away with. They love that thrill. They love that rush. And just like an addict feels when they're doing their drugs, it's the same thing when you're doing something you're not, you know, you're not supposed to be doing. I mean, cheaters get that same kind of rush. So um, he could have, he or she could have enjoyed um, playing games with you, um, cheating on you, talking to other people, all of that, just to see how much they could really get away with. Knowing that they were hurting somebody of your caliber, knowing that they um didn't have to worry about you doing those same things to them but they could do it to you you know because i feel like most of you guys genuinely truly loved this person but um they didn't love you in the same way all right we have proven you wrong so them getting better them having something to show for themselves after a while again it's more about them it's more about their ego and their pride. If this person had an ego and pride issue, definitely showing up again. That's also why the hermit is reversed. Hermit reversed is like, you know, there's a lot of work you need to be doing internally, but you don't want to look at it. You don't want to see the root of the problem. You just want to skim over it and do the easy way. You want to do the easy route, all right? You want to be immature and in your ego and all of that, about what it is you need to fix. So like I said, for some of you guys, they might appear like they're they're stopping smoking, they're stopping drinking, they're, they're cutting out these, these negative people in their life so that they can turn around and prove something to you so that they can try to make you further the emotional damage or the emotional manipulation for some of you, okay? Some of you guys are gonna get an unexpected gift from this person. If you have a birthday coming up or a holiday or something like that, they could try to come through and and love bomb you again, give you a gift or something. For a lot of you, this was immediate fatu infatuation with this person. You guys connected pretty much instantly. It was very hot and heavy and passionate. And a lot of you guys formed some type of trauma bond or sexual tie pretty early on. Look, we got emotional manipulation. Can't make it up. They were very emotionally manipulative to y'all, okay? know that and know that that hasn't changed this person's just a very damaged person that's what they do to everybody you weren't the first and you're not going to be the last i wasn't ready for you and i'm sorry exactly they know that they're messed up y'all look a toxic masculine for a lot of you guys this is who i was picking up on toxic masculine energy it's everything and all it's everything that i mentioned it's the cheating mentality, the player mentality, the one in the the ego, the the control. We mentioned that earlier. It's all of that, okay? They were never really around anybody that could show them different, okay? In a couple of months time, you could receive some type of message from this person. They could try to reach out. They could try to send you something. All right, they could, you might see something in a roundabout way um, that makes them look like they're doing all this self-improvement, okay? Just know it's to perk your ears up in your, and to get your eyes on them so that they can get some type of attention from you. That's what I feel, okay? Some of you guys, they have drama with an ex. This ex energy could be what you found out about. 
This could have been what was hidden behind the scenes and why the justice card came out. You finally found out the truth about somebody that was an ex, but not really an ex. You guys know how that goes, right? Um, this is part of probably the situation that they need to cut off. Why the, why the King of Swords was out here reverse. They're going through a lot of, I'm hearing soul death and rebirth. This is what needs to happen within this person, but they are a very stubborn and resistant energy. And then they met you. And you changed the game on them, I want to say. There's someone else in my life that blocks this. I can't make it up. There's an X energy that enables this person and keeps them stuck. For a long time, this person loved being around this energy because this person accepted them for the toxic person that they were. They accepted all of their flaws and they never questioned them or if they did question them, they, they just went back on it and allowed them back into their life. This, this ex is a doormat and has a lot of issues. Um, a codependent, 100%. This is who they attract. They like to be around empaths, healers, and codependents. Because these are the people that are going to take pity on them and, you know, talk, take pity on this person and, you know, see all their trauma or whatever the hell it was and make excuses for them. You guys were like that for a while until you started getting tired of this person leading you nowhere and lying to you, okay? I'm willing to do whatever to earn your trust back. They're in an energy now of wanting to prove you wrong and get your trust back. Some of you guys are gonna be in different spaces about this, so I can't speak on that. I'll just keep on <laughs> pulling cards, okay? I do see them wanting to change their life though. I do, I can't lie. I do see them wanting to um, fix their life. Okay. But look, y'all narc alert came out. The love bombing is real with this person. The manipulation is out here. They could be doing, wanting to do just enough to look like they're changing their life to swoop you right, to swoop back in, to suck you right back in like a narcissist does y'all with the hoovering. We got, I keep thinking about how I messed up. They definitely do. And they definitely have that on the back of their back all the time. And that's karma. You are a heavily protected person, whether you believe that or not. You were blessed with amazing intuition that unfortunately you got with the right kind of person that would help you doubt yourself and doubt that. Sometimes when we're first coming into our intuitions and we're not too secure in ourselves yet and what we know because we've been around abusive people our whole life we've been around narcissists our whole life maybe some of you guys were raised by narcissists um you're gonna grow up feeling like everything your thoughts aren't safe your your um beliefs aren't safe your decision making isn't safe and you're gonna always question yourself then you get with the narcissist like this and then it's a recipe for disaster. So you have to be forgiving of yourself. Yeah, look, non-supportive family. Some of you guys don't have a support system. So that made it even worse for you. You really gave everything to this particular person. And they loved that control over you. They loved feeling like you were, you worshipped them and they were all you had. They they love that. They They really do. And for some of you guys, now, if you're branching off and you're trying to start finding new relationships and building healthy relationships with other people, they can't stand that. But they can have whoever, right? We have prideful and vain Leo energy, okay? We talked about that pride, that ego. You guys could be dealing with the Leo. I was picking up on fire for this person for sure. We have broke ass, and I know this isn't the end for us. So, again, no motivation, no money, really. Um, this is a perfect. This is a person that's perfectly fine with just skating by, having a regular job, and doing regular shit. Um, not over excelling at anything, not having a real passion for anything other than doing things that they're not supposed to do. They are given dusty energy, 
could be a Libra, bottom of the deck here. Um, Y'all, this is a hard situation to deal with. This is also why you're in a defensive energy. This is why, you know, I just feel like if you were to let this person come back into your life, it's you're, you're, you're tempting yourself, okay? You're only tempting yourself because you know how this person is and you know how good they are at being able to convince you that your thoughts are not correct or whatever, okay? Just know this person's still sitting around. I, I see them plotting on trying to cut out certain people in their life or cut out certain toxic behaviors and coming back to you to get you to feel like, see, I'm not that bad of a person. I'm changing for you. What I did to you, I just can't get over it. And I'm, I'm changing for you. And you know what? I'm not that kind of reader that's going to tell you guys the freaking rainbow and butterfly story that you want to hear. I feel like for some of you guys, unfortunately, you're dealing with a toxic masculine who's a narcissist that, you know, in a couple months wants to come back and love bomb you again and emotionally abuse you and see if they can get in back in good with you. That's what I see in this read. And that's what I'm going to tell you. It's my job as a reader to tell you the truth. Okay. This person is not safe and you're finally getting into an energy where you're stop you're you're not doubting yourself anymore and you're accepting this and you're letting them go and you're moving on and you're letting go of feeling like you need to control this or control who they're with or some of you guys will want to just stay with this person and be in their energy so that they weren't with anybody else and it's like no okay um I feel for you guys because trust me when I say I know how this feels, okay? So I know my delivery might be a little harsh. I'm a Sagittarius, but this is all love and light sent your way. I love you guys so much. I hope that you appreciated this reading and you appreciate my realness when I do reads. If this resonated, be sure to like the video and subscribe. Visit the Etsy shop if you'd like a personal reading, okay? If I've tapped into you guys' energy and you need a personal read, I am here to help you. Um, or visit the Shopify for my other items. Love you guys so much. I'll see you later. Bye.